Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and let's thank our members Invictus and our Patreons Interceptor, Richards and Rupert. Thank you all the members, all the uh, Patreons and let's get into it. Subscribe and let's get into it. So today we're going to take a look on the F104. So the F104 A's and the F104 C, so basically the Chinese A and the, um, and the American A and also the American C got a new br so they are all 9.7 right now and i wanted to make a video just playing around with them and feeling if they are different or not to play right now to be honest most of the time you will not face any different enemies that you were not facing before so you face a lot of 10.3s man a lot of magic missiles a lot of r60s a lot of good aim nines uh, M9Ls with the A10s, uh, M9Js with some aircraft. So you really need to be careful flying these aircraft still, uh, especially because all of them, they don't have uh, the flares or anything like that. The radar is very limited, uh, but also um, the, um, the, the the missiles that you have, it's just M9B. So the cannon is fine, but the performance of the aircraft is problematic. Uh, sometimes so it is just a, a weird aircraft to fly in general it is a different aircraft right it is i always say this with a friend then it's basically different from anything else uh, there my wing just ripped i think it was be due to a pl uh, because i am having very very bad, bad problems with uh, internet right now as you see my pl is always high so i don't know uh, what is happening right now uh, but yeah let's uh, just try to make the video work right so yeah but anyway it is an aircraft that nonetheless it has a lot of speed it is a very fast aircraft as you know and being a very fast aircraft you can kind of as i always say kind of choose whenever to attack a target uh, with the missiles that you face it's kind of problematic because these missiles they have a, a faster speed than yours so even if you kind of try to avoid uh the targets and stuff if they are not spotted and they get like too close to you they basically you're dead so if a magic is fired at you if a 9 l is fired at you if an r60m is fired at you you're probably dead depending on the range the only thing that you can do for defense is actually be faster than the enemy which is always going to be a problem right uh, in certain situations but um talking about the br itself of these aircraft I mean, it helps, but to be honest, around I, I played around eight, ten battles uh, today, and basically just one or two were uh, down tiers, and I ended up uh, getting killed by by a MiG-19 anyway. So I don't know. It's just the minor part of the battles that you are facing; they are facing low uh, down tiers. Uh, with that, they kind of tend to be similar to what it was uh, before so don't expect anything different um it is uh, i mean easier technically but you won't be feeling too much difference as you know i already did some videos talking about this the main problem about these aircraft 9.7s and 10.0s and aircraft like that is that they are facing a lot of these su-25s and a lot of day 10s they are not I mean, amazing, these aircraft, but the missiles are amazing. The A9L and the R60M, especially for those early uh, 60s or late 50s aircraft that don't have flares, don't have anything like that, don't even have great missiles, it becomes kind of a, a real, real problem, right? So as you see here, look at the amount of A10s that I'm facing in this battle. And every, almost every match is facing like that. Even missiles like the A9G for, or A9D from the Harriers, uh, it, they are problematic to be facing against um, because these aircraft they don't turn the A10, the F104s they just don't turn very well and with that it's just yeah see all aspect missile nothing I could have done and yeah it's GG basically so yeah that's the, the main problem with these aircraft even though they are uh, I think they are kind of doing a right thing kind of on the sense of trying to balance the, the F104 a little bit more uh, still, the, the the 
I mean, the, the, the radical change that it needs to be done or the, the, the change that will actually fix all of these problems without having to change the BR of other aircraft is the fact of the Su-25 and A-10. With that, if they fix that, I know it's problematic. The A-10 is already at 10.3. I mean, should it be 10.7? Maybe if we get an 11.7 BR, max BR for the F-14s and MLDs of... of uh, and Mirage is up top here, you know, but maybe for for now, it's not really feasible, right? But also the Su-25. The Su-25 is always the main subject, but it's always uh, not always the main problem. As you see here, day five, I mean, there's nothing I can do, do here. I try to maintain the power to see if I had the energy to actually outturn a missile, but there's basically no, at that altitude, I mean... Maybe you can try to fly low to have a little bit more air to actually have the ability to turn a little bit more and try to evade missiles. But to be honest, it's just you're going to die a lot against these more effective missiles in these aircraft. Don't expect it to be a very easy aircraft to fly. And all the F-104s, to be honest, even the 10.7 ones, they're very tough to fly sometimes in those BRs as well. It is a tough aircraft uh, to fly. It is a fun aircraft to fly, in my opinion, but it is tough. Uh, nonetheless, you know, and yeah, as I was saying, the main problem is always going to be the BR compression. is a problem that we will uh, we will face for a long time, I think, in War Thunder, uh, because there isn't a properly easy way to deal with it. I mean, obviously, increasing the BR is the obvious choice, but the the main problem is that they don't want longer QE times as well. So they kind of lock themselves up to not add a BR decompression that we actually need. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's just that uh, my problem with it is not the BR compression itself. It's just that they take a long time to actually do this type of thing. Um, waiting for the statistics to kind of settle is, it down. And they sometimes wait like an year for a BR change. And that makes the aircraft that was already just added or some aircraft that was changed before or something like that. If it's not completely bad and utterly difficult to actually fly, uh, it will be maintained at like that for a very long time until uh, another BR change and another statistics will be analyzed. Uh, analyze it uh, during the next year you know so it takes a lot of time for these br changes to be done and that's the main problem i think uh, it's not i mean the br compression can be solved um, and i think little things like increasing the max br little by little for example right now uh mic 29 is added for example come on put it at 11.7 right put the mld the f14 the mirage 2011.7 that would make the the 10.3s to be able to be put it up a little bit depending on the situation like the 10 some mig 21s and stuff and that just decompresses so that we don't have a mig 19 facing you know sabers f a5s right or something like that uh or even aircraft from the 50s and 60s not facing a10s with missiles from the late 70s or su 25s from miss uh, with missiles from the late 70s maybe they just need to try a little bit more you know and and rely of course they rely a lot on statistics and that's very scientific but still uh, maybe they should just be a little bit more you know need less less time in the statistics department to actually change the brs brs is what makes the game balanced after all remember uh, even though they actually use missiles and performance and other rounds and stuff to actually balance stuff in the game I think the main uh, way to balance stuff out gotta be is gotta be the um, the BR, right? Uh, these other changes they need to be made for realistic purposes, not for um, not for balancing purposes. So, for example, the R60M should be added for the MLD, the F14A having the M9L. They should have that, but add a proper BR to it. Maybe not right now because it's top tier, obviously, and then. There's not much change to add a top tier. It's always going to face kind of a down tier kind of situation, right? But still, you know what I mean, right? And the F-14, the F-104 is kind of facing um, this kind of problem due to the BR compression, due to some missiles and stuff uh, happening in the game, right? So some missiles being added to like the R-60M and the M9L. 
he kind of is in an odd position right now. Because if he goes for a higher BR, it's going to be worse than this. And if he goes to a lower BR, it will stomp. So it should not be 9.3, for example, right? 9.7 is, I think it's the max that these aircraft should be lower than uh, 2, you know? So it's problematic. A problematic aircraft to balance. Uh, at 9.7, I think it's kind of the right uh, thing to do right now. Just due to the SU-25 already being in game and 9.7 so if they're not going to change that sure change the f104 but the main problem the radical change needed was the su-25 five and other aircraft to be an upper br and the br decompression happen a little bit more right but anyway let me know in the comments what you think about the f104 uh, a in this br i think it doesn't change much but yeah what else we can do right so i hope you enjoyed and i see you guys on the next one so bye guys see you